So Zach Ertz, the best tight end in football, comes out and says that the 2019 Philadelphia Eagles are better than the 2017 Philadelphia Eagles. Now, I've been on record saying that the Philadelphia Eagles are winning Super Bowl 54 in Miami this year. I still stand by that statement confidently and proudly. Ever since I made that video, I've received hate. I've received people questioning my football knowledge. I've been called out. People have been proposing bets to me and basically questioning my football knowledge as a fan. Ever since I made that video, not only I have accepted the bet proposals that have been proposed to me, but people who have, for, for say, higher repertoire than me, you know, guys like Adam Rank, guys like Zach Ertz, guys like Gil Brandt, who I'm going to talk to in a, about in a second. Zach Ertz, who's, in my opinion, the best tight end in football, but without a doubt, even a hater would say he's top three in the league. The premier three tight ends in the league are Travis Kelsey, George Kittle, and Zach Ertz, now that Rob Gronkowski's retired. Okay, those are the three elite premier well-known tight ends in football right now. In my opinion, Zach Ertz is the best, but he's top three, without a doubt. So, someone like Zach Ertz, who was on the 2017 Philadelphia Eagles and a key contributor in that year, would know. He would know when he sees it on the field, the talent that we have in the building this year. So, it's not just me, right? It's not just me, you know, this fan out here in the Pacific Northwest that has a YouTube a YouTube camera and a YouTube account. It's not just me. It's Zach Ertz, a player on the 2017 Eagles, coming out and saying that the 2019 Eagles are better than 2017. It's Adam Rank, a million dollar analyst for fantasy football for years, comes out and says that the Eagles will go 13 and three with the number two seed around the ballpark of what I said and on the dot on the seeding. And Gil Brandt, a former vice president of player personnel for the Dallas Cowboys comes out and says that the Philadelphia Eagles have the best roster in football. Do you guys know what that is? A vice president player of personnel, the Eagles fans and, you know, the casual NFL fans that are watching for you Eagle fans to compare that that was Howie Roseman's job when Joe Douglas was here. Now that Joe Douglas has left for the Jets, Howie Roseman's gained full control, but when Joe Douglas was here, that was Howie Roseman's job. Vice President Player of Personnel. So that's like Howie Roseman stepping down and saying that the Dallas Cowboys have the best roster in the NFL. That's what that's like. You got former employees of high power who had high power of our rival teams. The biggest one in my eyes of the Dallas Cowboys coming out and saying that the Philadelphia Eagles have the best roster in the NFL. Zach Ertz comes out and says that the 2019 Eagles are better than the 2017 Eagles. Adam Rank says the Philadelphia Eagles will go 13-3 and with the number two seed. So it's not just me. Okay? I believe. I thoroughly believe. And it's not just me, like I said. Our players believe. And those rival fans that hate on our Super Bowl tell me that our team believing in the chemistry was the number one reason why we won the Super Bowl. Well, it looks like they're believing now. Because Zach Ertz has huge say. His opinion matters. Like I said, he's a top three tight end in football at worst. And he was on the 2017 Eagles as a key contributor. No matter what quarterback we've had in Philadelphia, Zach Ertz is dominated. Sam Bradford, dominated. Mark Sanchez, dominated. Zach Ertz had a 15-catch game. 15 catches in one game against Washington with Mark Sanchez at quarterback. So Sanchez, dominated. Like I said, Sam Bradford, dominated. Carson Wentz, dominated. Nick Foles, dominated. Michael Vick, briefly, dominated. Okay, Zach Ertz has dominated no matter what quarterback we've had out there. And he's been with every, practically have, he's played with every kind of quarterback, you know, mobile quarterback and Vic and Wentz, pockets, 
and a pocket quarterback and a Nick Foles, right? Zach Ertz to me has huge say on how talented this team is because he's been through it all. So with that being said, let's compare because Zach Ertz came out and said that this team is better than 2017. Gil Brandt, basically a former assistant general manager of the Dallas Cowboys comes out and says that the Eagles have the best roster in the NFL and Adam Rank, a multi-million dollar analyst on fantasy football for years comes out and says that the Eagles will go 13 and three with the number two seed. And me personally, myself, that was all, all of that came out after I said that the Eagles are winning the Super Bowl. All that, all that has happened ever since. So maybe I do know what I'm talking about in the prediction world. So let's compare. I've already been on record saying that the defensive line is for sure better than 2017. 2017 starters at defensive tackle, Fletcher Cox and Tim Jernigan. That's solid. Okay. 2019 defensive tackle starters at defensive line. Fletcher Cox, Malik Jackson. That is lethal. Out of all four three teams in the league, that is the best defensive tackle tandem. Care to argue with me? Type down below. Out of all teams that run a 4-3 defense, name me a better defensive tackle tandem than Fletcher Cox and Malik Jackson. Defensive ends. We got Brandon Graham from 2017, who will also be our starter in 2019. Solid player and great against the run. We got Derek Barnett as a rookie from 2017 to Derek Barnett going into his third year in 2019. Substitutional or substitutional pass rushers. All right, we got Vinny Curry from 2017, who's with us now in 2019, wasn't with us in 2018. Chris Long for 2017. He is now retired and won't be on our team in 2019. That's okay. All right. We drafted young guys, and we'll have young guys to step up. So if anything, the 2017 defensive line had more depth, but the Eagles starters in 2019 are better than the defensive line 2017. Receivers, okay? We essentially got the same receivers, except our deep threat in 2017 was Torrey Smith. Our deep threat in 2019 was Deshaun Jackson. The Eagles had no deep threat wide receiver in 2018. That was part of the reason why they went 9-7 and seven and the running game wasn't as good. So we have one of the best deep threats of all time in Deshaun Jackson. Tight ends. Dallas Goddard, a better receiving tight end than Brent Selleck. Zach Ertz is still with us. So receivers and tight ends, better than 2017. Offensive line depth, better than 2017. Safeties. Instead of Corey Graham being that third safety, we got Andrew Sendejo from the Vikings. Other than that, safeties are, are the same, if not better, than 2017. So on paper, it makes sense. Not only on paper it makes sense, but it makes sense because everybody else is saying it. Okay? So that's my video for today. It's not just me. I believe it. The players on this team believes it. And the media believes it. You got to believe, guys. Get that, oh, I'm scared to say Super Bowl nonsense out of your mind. This is the mindset going forward. Super Bowl mindset. It's Super Bowl or bust this year, guys. Anyways, this is Eagle Speed, and I'm out.